Hi guys, so with lockdown coming to an end, I thought I would come on and talk to you about some of the brands and products that I either discovered during lockdown and fell in love with, or ones that I've just been using all throughout to either protect or keep my curls looking nice. First up is this leave-in conditioner. This is Eight by Jim and Henry. It's huge. And this has been my absolute holy grail. I did discover this during lockdown. It was on my list for a very, very long time. And I thought now was the time to try it. I'll show you what it's like. So this leave-in conditioner is very, very runny. Like, okay, let's figure out how to do this. It's very runny which means that you really don't need to use a lot. It's very, very hydrating and the results speak for themselves. If you've seen me tag this brand in a post that I've done during the lockdown period, then you will know just how amazing those curls have turned out. It is by far one of my absolute favorite leave-in conditioners when I've used all through lockdown. We have another new product. This is the Be In Control Gel by Curls. Curls is a brand who I've used plenty of times before and I really, really like their Blueberry Blush Gel. Um, I did go online with the intention of purchasing that and then I've seen this whole new range of gels that they've done. Each one's a different colour and has a different purpose. So this one is the Bean Control Sculpting Gel, which is a firm hold and it's for wash and goes. When I say this product is the bomb, I loved it from the first use. Straight away I was like, I'm gonna like this gel and yeah this is an absolute favorite it's super affordable I think it's like seven or eight pound maybe even less um yeah I can't wait to get like the whole collection of them because I love this gel I'm on the topic of new discoveries I couldn't not mention this new brand that I discovered thanks to my treasure chest box and that is the imbue I think I'm saying that right Correct me if I'm not. <laughs> um, but this is a new brand that I discovered from my monthly subscription box and I fell in love with these two products out of the range. So that is the Curl Inspiring Conditioning Leave-In and the Curl Empowering Cream Gel. The leave-in spray, I love refreshing my hair with this. It's just so lightweight but yet so hydrating at the same time. You don't need to use a lot of it, it's great. It smells amazing as well. And then the cream gel is like a two-in-one because it's creamy moisturizer but it still gives you hold that a gel does as well so these two have been great next up product wise is a new range but from an old brand that's an absolute favorite um recently launched some more products over in the uk that i could always get my hands on um and yeah i'll just show you so this is the detox kit from Curlsmith and it contains a super slip prebiotic primer which you put on your hair before you shampoo um, and then you detangle your hair with that on and you don't rinse that off. On top of that you put the wash and scrub detox probiotic, give your hair a good wash with that because that's the shampoo and then rinse that off and then finally the postbiotic harm and conditioner so it's a three step system. So yeah I did a wash day using this kit recently and oh my god my hair just felt different I think it was just what my hair needed my scalp felt amazing but yeah even though it's a clarifying shampoo I, it felt like I was using a co-wash because my hair was still so soft and it wasn't stripped at all but that was because of the primer I used underneath but yeah this kit I highly recommend that you get and it's not the only Kelsmith product that is on my new favorites list I have a few of them <laughs> um, but the other one that I'm going to talk about is the in shower style fixer how cute is this little container as well um, this is great so the idea of this one is that you use it in the shower while you're still in the shower and your hair is still soaking wet that's when you apply this and this is a stronghold gel um, and I've also discovered that it works really well on your edges because of how strong it is and it doesn't leave any flakes or anything like that and this is a really good gel so well on my mission to finally use up some of the shampoos and conditioners that I have in my collection 
I fell back in love with some old favourites, guys. So, both, these are both by the same brand, but different ranges. So, this is As I Am, and this is the cleansing pudding. I love this. Like, I don't know how I've still got so much of this left because this is my go-to shampoo at the moment. I absolutely love it. My curls smell soft and moisturised and it smells incredible. So yeah, this is my favourite shampoo during lockdown. And then from the same brand but different range, we have the conditioner from the Long and Luke's range. And again, I don't know how I've still got this left. It smells amazing and it's really hydrating. My hair's easy to detangle in the shower and together, amazing. The next thing that's been saving my hair during lockdown isn't the product, but it's also the tools that you use when doing your hair. These are really important because if you're using really good products but you're not protecting your hair, you're not gonna get the most out of it. So first brand I'm gonna talk about is Oh So Curly. These shampoo brushes are amazing and I'm not just saying that. They are honestly so good for when you're in the shower. So they have these little spikes on them, which look hard, but I promise you they're really gentle. And what they do is they remove all the buildup on your scalp, as well as massaging it, stimulating your scalp um, if you're doing oil massages or anything like that. So these have been so great. Just nice relaxing shower with them. <laughs> Couldn't be without my spray bottle, which is also by also curly, because the fine mist on it means that my hair gets wet without being soaked, which is, means that I can refresh it and keep the volume that my hair has. Also, they released their bonnets, which are reversible and come in a variety of colours. And these are great for when you're sleeping. You all know already how much I cannot be without my pillowcase and now I have the bonnets to go with it just for that extra protection and especially for use on wash day. Next up is my wash day must have. I will wait for my wash day if this is not with me and that is my Happy Hair Co towel. I have been using these towels for years now, um, way back when they used to be white um, and I love them. They dry your hair without frizzing it because of how soft the material is so it's the only towel that I will use in my hair and I will always let my hair sit in the towel while it dries before diffusing or air drying whatever it is I'm going to do. So it's soaked at the moment because today was wash day but yeah happy hair curl towel is a must. If this is in the wash I'm not going to wash my hands until it's done <laughs> but yeah these I highly recommend. Last on my list is something that has been there all those lazy days when I've not wanted to do my hair or when I have had to pop to the shops and been deep conditioning on the go and that is my head wraps. This one has been my absolute favourite because it's my biggest one um, but I do have a few other designs. I just love the idea of hiding my hair in one of these and still looking cute. If you don't have head wraps yet, check out Elaine's Handmade and um, I'll tag her in the description as well with all the products used today but yeah these head wraps have been a blessing during lockdown definitely so that is the end of my lockdown favorites and um, there's obviously a lot of products that I have trialed throughout lockdown or used but these ones that I spoke about today are my babies and ones that I would probably not have such good hair days without <laughs> So I will drop tags for them all on Instagram below as well as the websites where you can buy them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all on Instagram.